Hello everybody, Jeremy here, and today I want to show you Mutant Muds Deluxe for the Nintendo Wii U. This game came out uh, somewhere around E3 and we didn't get a chance to uh, talk about it because of all the craziness that happens during E3, but now that that's over and done with and we get a chance to catch our breath, we're going back to this little gym here. This is $10 from the eShop and this is a old school retro platforming shooting game basically and uh, the rough story behind it is uh, all of a sudden these these mud like alien creatures come onto the planet and you armed with your water gun and bubble jet pack have to go and take these guys out so here are just some of the stages there's several of them to choose from and uh, you'll be going back through each of these stages uh, several times you can see in the middle there's this uh, star like emblem and on the left and the right of these doors is a diamond emblem and a circle emblem so once you go through these worlds three times you can earn all of those emblems and unlock cool stuff and you can also check out some ghost stages which we will get into a little bit later but for now let's go into granny's attic because as you collect these little diamonds throughout the stages, you can use them to buy things. Here are just a couple of the power-ups that I could buy. This one right here allows me to shoot more powerful shots that way. And this power-up here allows my bubble jetpack to last longer. So you can see down at the lower left-hand corner of the screen, that's how much juice I have left in my bubbliness, but I am going to go for the power. And this power up right here, I cannot currently afford. And there's Granny. So we're going to leave that, and let's just uh, go through a stage, show you what this game is all about. Now this game is also, you can play it on the Wii U gamepad, totally off the screen. And that's pretty awesome, so you don't even need to have the TV on to play this. Just play it on the gamepad, play it in the bed. So anyway, here we go. So, as you can see down at the bottom, you have that evergreen tree right there that's kind of in the foreground. And that's just kind of uh, alluding to a feature that's really cool in Mutant Muds Deluxe, how you can navigate between the foreground and the very far background. And I'll find a platform I can show you that. So those guys can't be hurt, we're just going to go right through them. And these platforms, of course, they can be tricky. You know, it's all about timing. And when you go, to, when you hit this little jump pad here, you can see I'm all the way in the background now. And the look on the game pad is not too different than the look on the uh, television. I'm actually looking at the game pad as I'm playing this because it's closer to my face. And check out that that emblem right there in the foreground there has that depth of field going on and that's very nice the music in this game is good I just got hit that didn't need to happen and each stage is also time so you see I have a little less than three minutes to go but fortunately there are checkpoints in this game if you want a little extra difficulty I believe that you can uh, turn those checkpoints off but why would you want to do that and these jump pads can be tricky because if you try to use your jetpack in order to you know just make sure that you can actually make the jump you'll you can end up hovering for a little bit too long and that'll screw you up but you can also stop the jetpack whenever you want but i found it just easier to trust your instincts and just make the leap of faith without the aid of the jetpack when you're doing that all right back into the foreground we go Come on. I was going to try to make that, but forget it. Alright, jump back. We should be near the end of this. Oh, God. We should be near the end of this stage by now. There aren't a lot of blind jumps in this game, but sometimes it can seem like there are some blind jumps, but it's not anything too terrible. Okay, so I guess I did not get all of those diamonds, so I didn't necessarily complete that level. Alright, well, let's let's just try this one instead. 
this is an ice level. Everyone's favorite thing in video games ever are swimming sequences and ice levels in which you slide across the ice. Ugh. But that's just part of the challenge here. So if you like old school games, if you like Mega Man and your twitchy reflexes and you know always making sure that you do the right thing all the time and you get three hearts so you oh so you can't screw it up too much so if you like stuff like that then oh god this game is for you all day long so let's just try to properly complete this stage this time since i didn't do it before those little empty white diamond uh, outlines there are where the diamonds used to be before I collected them the first time through. Okay, so let's try to get this guy. Okay. Take that mutant mud. Now I am on the attack. Alright, so let's get a little running jump. Oh god! Oh. See, that's, that's the type of thing you gotta contend with, you know, like, are you gonna make it? I don't know. I think I've already mentioned the really good music in this game. It is very, very pleasant. Very retro. It'll be a darn shame to die now. So let's just... Oh, wow. Can I make that jump? Oh, no, of course not. Okay, here comes the platform. Okay. Maybe if I had the extended bubble jet pack, I could have made it. Don't know, though. All right, so let's jump up here. Uh, you can duck, so just in case the enemies are getting a little bit too close to your head, you'll be able to duck and possibly avoid death. All right, let's jump into the foreground. Take this guy out. Minute 39 left. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. Just gotta be nice and careful. Cause that checkpoint, it seems like it was oh god, it seems like it was quite far away back. The spikes are an insta-kill, so avoid those at all costs. Oh god. Oh. See that's the thing about that ice. You know, if you want to make it, you got to get like a little bit of a running jump going. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. All right. So did I properly clear that stage? I did. You can see the little diamond shining right there. All right. So that's a little taste. And let's take a look at the uh, ghost worlds. You go down into this mirror here. And I have completed none of these so far. But I'm just going to show you what these worlds are like. Now, in these worlds... The ghosts, well, the enemies are like ghosts. And they can't be hurt without a special weapon that I do not have at the moment. So, in order to take these guys out, well, I can't really. I just really have to avoid them. I believe once you get that weapon, you can sort of stun them long enough to pass through them. But there's no killing these guys. So that adds a little more challenge to it. And it sounds like the music is backwards or something. You know, really, oh god. Really freaky stuff. I want to get that. Oh my, oh, I didn't even see him there. Oh, there's so little. Okay. Oh, I should not risk it. Oh, I shouldn't have risked it. Come on. Hmm. There are no lives. So you can just keep on going. You know, even if you die, don't worry about it. You, you just have to play the stage over again. I really hope to beat this stage before I end this video. So let's just go back. Collect all this. I mean, can they really be muds if they're... Oh, I did it again! Oh, wow. I guess it doesn't help that they're in the background here and they're kind of hard to see. So you just got to take your time as these guys go up. Taller than I thought. Oh, no. Oh, I don't like this. 
Oh god. Oh no. All right, this is gonna be the last time I try. Oh Jesus, not. This is not good. This is the last time I'm gonna try this stage, and I'll move on to something else, and then we'll call it a wrap on this game here. I don't even care about collecting all this stuff anymore. <clears throat> I just want to get through. Don't jump. Alright, you little, you little dead guys. The ghosts of all the muds that you've murdered in your life. I did it again. Oh no, there's a checkpoint! Don't mess up, don't mess up. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna, I know I said I was, I was gonna stop, but since I hit the checkpoint, I'm gonna keep going. See, I can duck. Avoid this guy here. I guess I can make this duck here. Zoom across there. Yeah, I can make it. Alright. Oh, I didn't see him! Okay. There are some muds that have like a sword and shield, and if he were one of them, I definitely would have gotten hit just now. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks like the end of the stage is somewhat near. It's like it's on a different plane. There it is. Suckers. All right, so I didn't collect all that many diamonds, but darn it, I'm glad to have made it out of that stage. All right, so we're gonna do one more level of this. And we'll just pick one. Uh, I really don't feel like doing any more ice levels. I think this is an ice level. Oh well, we'll tough it out. Did I, am I hitting him? I'm listening for the audio cues to know whether or not I hit this guy. goes invisible oh god okay hold on okay visible invisible jump jump invisible hover jump there we go okay so none of we can't hit each other right now but all right got you now buddy i think i got him all right we got here could jump into the background here but there's nothing back there so we're not going to I'm not gonna make it gonna get a running start All right. oh god no oh we can't go that way I wish I had known that earlier. Thanks, game. Oh! Is there any? You know, I don't even want to go over there. I hope there's no diamonds over there that I need. Luckily, these little platforms don't crumble once you step on them. They could have easily done that and just would have been just a, another onion in the ointment, if you will. Like an old person saying, I don't know why I said that. Come on, you flying mud. I see those diamonds. See right there? That was like a bit of a, of a blind jump that I mentioned earlier. Okay, we got all those. Ah! I feel like I am missing a lot of these diamonds. Hopefully we can just collect them along the way. He's coming back. There we go. How are you guys doing? Have you tried those, um, kind of like that Pizza Hut cheesy bite, uh, pizza it has like the crust is kind of made of like garlic bread or something? Didn't it just come from here? I think I did. 
But yeah, I um. Oh come on! I didn't even know where I was. I feel kind of ripped off just now. Anyway, yeah, it's got the um. It's got like garlic bread as the crust, but it's not like a solid piece of garlic bread. It's just like it's kind of separated or divided or something like that. Anyway, on the commercial, you know, it looks good. I had it, and um. You know, it's a really strong garlicky smell to it. You know, when you get it hot and right out the box, you know, you can really smell that garlic. But taste-wise, it doesn't taste like it's overwhelming with garlic. I guess it's just it's more fragrant, fragrant than anything. I don't know why I'm bringing that up just now. I just, just thought I'd share that. Okay. I'm not too sure what happened last time as to why we kind of went back to where we were. But, you know, hopefully... Oh, come on. There we go. Hopefully that won't happen again. Oh, I see what happened. I hit this one that brought me back to the beginning. But I hit that, I go this way. Okay. Pay attention to detail, folks. To help you out, Mutant Muds Deluxe, and life in general. I can't hit none of these guys. Yeah, I missed a bunch of those diamonds. Oh well. That's why you go back through the stages and get better at it and better and better and you can complete them faster and it auto saves. So yeah, give you a little something to strive for. So yeah, that is Mutant Mugs Deluxe uh, for the Wii U. It's 10 bucks in the Wii U eShop. And what you just saw here is um, for the most part what you're going to get. Now there are some power-ups. You can play as Granny eventually. Uh, but as far as the platforming and the shooting goes, this is really what you're going to have to contend with. So if you like somewhat twitchy uh, platformers and whatnot, then you know this can be a game that you can finally play on your Wii U. Give you a reason to turn that thing on and uh, play the gamepad in your bed or on the toilet or however far your Wii U will let you walk away from it before it disconnects from the gamepad. So, until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll see you later.